What's up, guys? I'm Bob. I'm Matt. And this is Beer of the Week. The show where we drink beer on camera, camera for you guys. That's <laughs> yes, right. Sir. Good job, buddy. Thank you, my brother. How you doing? I'm getting better at it. You are. A hundred times in. I know we've only done this 120 <laughs> times. But it's good to be back. Yes, and sir. today, what are we drinking? Drinking Orpheus Brewings. Revolution Donuts and Coffee. It's a series, the Donut Revolution series. That's so long for your name. And this is the Lime Coconut Sour Ale. Yay. I hate sours. <laughs> we went over this a couple weeks ago, I, and for some reason, there's another sour on the table. I enjoy watching I you drink them. I picked it out. <laughs> I picked it. The reason it's on the table is because I picked it out. Yeah, that's true. But uh, this comes in at 6% and an untapped rating of 3.96. It was a pretty good rating, so hopefully it's good. Let's check it out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys for putting up with that rough intro. Today we're doing Orpheus Brewing's Revolution Donuts and Coffee. Uh, the Donut Revolution Lime Coconut Sour Ale. Man, that's a long name. I, I just, yeah, yeah, that's just a long name. So let's just say we're drinking a Lime Coconut Sour Ale from Orpheus Brewing today. Um, Coming in at 6% ABV, sour ale with lime, coconut, and vanilla. Wow. It's a little clearer than I would have expected. Goza style, uh, a little bit, a bit, a little bit of a Goza esque um, uh, nose as well. Um, I, surprise! I mean, you can get lime and citrus in Goza, but I would imagine you know that style of beer wouldn't pair well because of the salt that tends to be in Goza. Would pair well with like a a donut. The the breadiness would I, maybe if you did a Goza style and left the salt out of it. I don't know or could be Berliner Weiss or a, a wild ale. That's just really, really, really clear, um, nice kind of yellow, light yellow um, color to it. Good carbonation level. All right, Orpheus Brewings, Donut and Coffee, Lime Coconut Sour Ale. So you put the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. That's what you do. Let's see. Coconut in beer is almost always a very like distinct flavor. So I'm expecting there to be a decent amount of coconut in this based on the name. Color on this is very light, very crisp, looks like a sour. Sm oh my God. Is this a Goza? It smells like a Goza. It smells like there's salt in this. It doesn't say that. It says sour ale with lime, coconut, and vanilla. But it smells like it's got salt. It tastes like it has salt. It, uh, it's, um, <laughs> you can taste the coconut. The coconut is there. There is a vanilla sweetness. Honestly, I can't, I don't know if this is lime. It's just sour. It's just. But this is, this is tolerable. Unlike other sours I've had, I, it, I still, it's not my preferred style of beer at all. But there's, there's decent flavor to this. The coconut's there, it's, it's definitely there, but it's not, it's not overpowering. Um, I think the vanilla probably helps mute it, makes it kind of sweet. Um, I'm surprised this isn't labeled as a Goza though, because there's definitely salt, like in the, in the nose and the taste. But I can drink this. It's, uh, you know, anything sour makes me pucker a little bit, but it, this is drinkable. Okay, 
So I definitely get the citrus and coconut. Uh, coconut, I got a little bit of coconut on the on the flavor profile of it, and I get a, a considerable amount of of coconut kind of in my exhale. Um, but definitely some lime, uh, maybe some slight slight hints of vanilla, more. The, the the citrus in this is 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 definitely the most prevalent. I get kind of some vanilla along with the coconut, um, some sweetness in the in the exhale and kind of on what's what's remaining on the palate as the sour kind of kind of um, dies off. Um, yeah, the, the the coconut tends to to linger a little bit. Be interested to see if maybe if the vanilla kind of comes out as it as it comes down from the or comes up in in temperature from the from the cooler temp um, if more of those flavor profiles open up uh, but for me definitely lime and citrus notes um, I would put this kind of in the mid-range uh, sour this is not super for me super super glow, uh, jaw clenching um, the the sour aspect is is more on like fruit level sour versus like crybaby candy or or some of those 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 candies that were designed to just make you pucker like crazy. I could see this being really refreshing, even maybe even used um, uh, in a pairing with a, a donut. I, I, I'm getting, I'm not getting a ton of breadiness in this, um, but <clears throat> uh, where I would pick up some bready notes um, or doughy notes in in another in in a another sour profile, I don't I don't personally pick up uh, any of like the the dough part of the donut. So what you think about this, bud? Uh, I put this in the medium range. To me, this is more. And I was struggling to figure out how I want to describe this. It's more acidic than it for me than it is sour. Um, it doesn't necessarily create like this massive jaw clench, mm -hmm. um, but there is a it's it for me it when I first started drinking it the the sour s portion of the palate over overrode. I, I, it smelled like goes out of the gate. I didn't get a lot of sea salt in it. Um, more acidity. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess just, I guess depending upon how your palate picks it up, I, I, you know, salt is a form of, I think it's kind of a form of an acid. I don't know. Well, I'm not a scientist, I but I, I don't think salt is an acid. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. We're going to have Trey off camera look that up. Is salt an acid? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, well, it I just mean, has, it has like it, it has, an acidity to it. it, it, it there's definitely salt. It's okay. not on the can, it's not a goza, but they, I mean, Ooh. you. I, I smell it and I taste it. I finally got coconut on the nose. I'm smelling. I was getting well, coconut in my exhale, but not in my. I smell a little coconut. I didn't yeah. smell much coconut though. I, I'm smelling lime juice. Yeah. Um, the first sip of this very sour to me, mm -hmm. like almost off-puttingly sour. The first sip. However, I think once once I've had that first sip and got it behind me, this one's relatively muted. It doesn't. It's not doesn't pack you. It doesn't punch you over and over and over again right. with the sour. It clean. It clears off the palate pretty quick. Mm hmm. So once you can handle that initial punch, it's mm -hmm. it's good. Right. Um, the coconut is absolutely there, but I'm getting a lot of the vanilla. Like I taste that sweetness. Okay. And that vanilla a lot. Um, I mean, it, honestly, this one's pretty good. Like, I can drink this. Cool. The only, and we've talked about this before on the show several times, the only sour I drink, like, by choice, not on this show, is Key Lime Pie uh, by Westbrook. Yep. Um, I'm not saying I would buy this by choice. Right. And drink it, but there's things about this one that remind me of that one. Would this one be as close to that, that one as you found... Mm -hmm. Since you found that one? Since I found that, well, Westbrook also has a lemon meringue pie. We did, or we, yeah, we did a meringue pie. They have, Westbrook has a lemon meringue pie that um, if I'm in the mood, like I, I will drink that one. Okay. So that one's probably the closest, but outside of something produced by Westbrook, this is in there. So like, and I'm not a sour drinker and 
and if somebody told me that they wanted like a, a white summer sour, I would probably recommend this. Yeah. This I would, is good. To my customers that like sours, I would, I would recommend this one. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, like, I think you can tell I'm going to finish this. So like this is, it's good enough that I would drink it. I mean, this so, isn't, this isn't like a palate crushing challenge of a sour no. for somebody that's looking for a, an over the top sour. This is. But me finishing a sour one. is mm -hmm. high praise to a sour because mm -hmm. I don't like them. So th this one's this one's good, and that guy has a rather small penis. <laughs> this has been beer of the week. Cheers! Cheers! <laughs>